I am Grace, co-founder of uh, Bookend. Hi, I'm uh, Somia Anwar, co-founder of Bookend. Hi, I'm Purva, and I work as the brand ambassador for Bookends. Actually, the idea came from a coffee morning. Sonia and myself, you know, two months talking about the struggles. Books are very expensive, and the kids, by the time they reach home, they finish the books, so they need more. So, you need a variety of books, you need um, effective prices. Those are two problems that we couldn't find solution for. And then, obviously, you have the space button as well. So we were thinking that you buy one, I buy number two, we swap and so on. And then we said, you know what? There is a problem. We can find the solution. Let's see if our idea will be validated somehow. Let's try if it works or not. So we started an online only in February 2020 and COVID started. After COVID cleared out, on a daily basis I would say, people were asking, do you have a shop? We want to come and have a look. And then obviously the space we took initially became too small for us. So we had to um, rent a bigger place and moving 20,000 books is not an easy job. So we said, you know what, let's do two in one. We have a store and we have the storage together. And here we are four months ago, we opened the store and um, we are very pleased where we are at the moment. For me, bookends started also with the fact that my daughter, she's an avid reader and she loved her time in, in bookstores and all. But at some point, I bought her onto ebooks simply because it was getting too expensive for me. And we always used to say that this is not the same as holding an actual book. Starting a bookends, I felt that I was bringing this back to her and not just her, of course, a lot of other people. Most of our customers came back to reading physical books. The only reason they had moved on to ebooks was because they were more affordable and uh, providing those that affordability at bookends has brought people back to physical books. The biggest thing is getting people around the concept of used books. People are very much comfortable going and picking up brand new books. So we're getting this idea across that it is alright to have a used book. This is where we felt we needed a lot more awareness. Also the fact of being an online store initially, getting that word out, letting people know about our platform has been challenging. Which is where we've got uh, Purva here with us. I've been with Bookends for, since July, since the physical store uh, came alive here and our idea was like Sonia and Grace mentioned that you know there is nothing known as a bad reader. A bad reader is basically a reader who's not found the book that's meant him or her. So essentially what we are trying to do here is we are trying to draw in a huge audience and with so many books all around us we are telling you there is a book for everyone. So the idea is that we give it to a 360 degree solution. So that led to the idea of turning bookends into not just a marketplace and a bookstore but actually a place where anyone who's from the creative community or is involved in words just walks in here and says okay this is my home. I don't like to see a book going for recycling and Sonia knows that whenever we have books that really we need to give away I should be away from that. I can't see that scene. <laughs> uh, we have got some books and when you say recyclable, it means uh, there are missing books or uh, torn pages. So this book cannot be read anymore. Uh, therefore, um, we created our counter and we thought that let's bring some life by bringing an old book to it. So we cut those books into a certain thickness and we created our table and the left part of that book is uh, used to do an art on our own. When you walk in that's the first thing you'll notice so all the pages are pasted on the wall and it's, it's just like a beautiful adornment. That's one of the things and also you will see these pretty lamps I'd like to call them hanging from the ceiling which are also made from books and sustainability and pre-love. They just go hand in hand. Anything that's get, getting another life is us working towards sustainability. 
The orders that we are receiving, online orders, they are packaged in a newspaper. We are reusing paper there as well. A lot of our art, bookmarks that we are making is also by newspapers. Everything we can reuse to whatever extent uh, we are doing. Can I uh, pull out for all our listeners, if you are newspaper subscribers, Please remember the cans and give us your newspaper so we can use them for our campaign.